Haley, we see you on Bella and the Bulldogs, which is awesome. But today we want to just get to know you a little bit awesome. more. So let's start with, if you weren't acting, what would you be doing? If I wasn't an actor, I'd probably be some type of other artist. Um, I like to paint and draw, but I also like to like make films and produce and direct. So maybe somewhere in that kind of area. I love writing. I might not be like amazing at writing, but it's fun to get, kind of get creative, you know? Do you think you'd ever write a book? Um, I'm not sure about a book, but maybe like a script one day, you know, for fun. Yeah, you totally <laughs> should. Walk us through like your morning routine. What do you usually do? A day when you're working versus a day when you're off. Um, usually when I'm working, I'll wake up pretty early, um, look decent, you know, for the network to see me. Um, and then I'll get dressed and then go to set and we'll rehearse a lot. I'll do a lot of school. Um, it kind of stays like that unless it's like a shooting day where you kind of get glammed up and you start shooting. But um, like on a regular day, I'm, I'm pretty boring. You know, being homeschooled, you just sit in bed on your laptop all day. But yeah, and then sometimes I'll go out hang out with friends or go to the gym or, you know, try to stay somewhat active. What would be your ideal day off? My ideal day off, ah, oh, okay. Um, I like to do something adventurous, like maybe go to like Malibu Beach and just hang out and get some like green juice and you know, be all kind of like LA <laughs> when you can. Or I also love to just stay in, watch movies with my friends, like horror movies, like try all the weird movies because I am a movie fanatic. Like I just love all different kinds of movies, like really horrible ones and really amazing ones. Like they're all real good. <laughs> off screen, you and the girls from Bell and the Bulldogs, are you guys just as close? Do you guys hang out whenever you're not filming? No, we're super, super close. We're like sisters, like we text all the time. We try to hang out with each other as much as possible, but it's kind of difficult with all our schedules and where we all live. But yeah, we love to get together and just kind of have our girly talks and nights. You have really cute style. Do you have someone that is your inspiration? I have a lot of like fashion icons because I don't have a personal stylist, so you kind of got to be creative and find things on a budget, <laughs> which is difficult, but you know, it's doable. I love Leandra Medin. She has a man repeller blog. Oh my God, she's amazing. Not only is she like great at fashion, but she's such an intellectual. It's amazing just like listening to her. But I also love Camille Rowe and Alexa Chung. If it's just a regular day, I'll just wear, honestly, I wear the same thing every day. I'll just wear like some mom jeans, like a tank top, my belt, and just like white sneakers. But if I'm getting ready for an event, um, it's kind of bad. Like, I don't pre-prepare. I'm just like, ah, oh, I'll just go in, you know? Yeah. Like, I, this came up with five minutes. <laughs> but I'll just, like, go in, think of what I want to be, because, I don't know, it kind of, it depends on how I feel. Like, if I want to wear a skirt, if I don't want to wear a skirt, you know? It's a big deal, because the way you're dressed is how you're going to be portrayed during the rest of the day and feel. So um, I always go for comfort though. Comfort is like my first option. I love going like vintage shopping and thrifting. Like I love it. And I also like going on, I'm such a, ugh, I love online shopping. It's actually dangerous now, really? yeah. Do you get like, worried though that like it's not gonna fit or you, oh, I know people who time. only all do return easy return mm -hmm. places. No, that's so true. I don't go to like boutiques where it's really, really difficult. I go to kind of like Nordstrom, you know, it's really easy. Urban Outfitters and Zara. Zara makes like the best like runway styles, but like, I don't know, kind of easier to wear. I don't wear makeup on a daily basis just cause I have pretty sensitive skin. But usually when I'm going out for an event, I'll just like put on foundation and everything else. <laughs> Nothing too special, but um, I'm obsessed with skincare though. Like I love skincare products. I found these two masks that work like, a, they're a, it's a miracle, it really is. One of them is just getting a lemon and like organic honey with like no added preservatives or sugar, putting that on and just like rubbing it on your face as a mask and staying for like five to 10 minutes. I, oh my God, it makes you just glowy and it just like, it relieves scarring or anything like that. It's incredible. And also okay. the mask of Magnum and Tea by Lush. That one is so good. We're gonna play a little game called the Fishbowl Challenge. Okay. Tea or coffee? Tea, 100%. Oh, I love tea. What's your spirit animal? A sloth. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah. you're not lazy. Oh, when I can be very, like, kind of, like, lethargic and lazy sometimes, but I just like how, like, they're kind of chill. What's your favorite Instagram to follow? Love underscore Watts. That's a really good one. And I love Man Repeller. Oh, they have such great fashion on there. What's your go-to karaoke song? Bohemian Rhapsody. What's your pet peeve? I hate when people chew really, really loud. Your dream vacation destination. Ooh, I've always wanted to go to Greece. Ah, oh, Greece sounds amazing. 